Hi, I'm Genuine Nard, like the oil poured out on Jesus' feet in the Bible. And this is my series on everything I've learned about growing my natural hair since my big chop. So a great blowout starts with a great comb out right after you've washed your hair. And this next segment is going to show you how to do a comb out really damage free. It's going to do it in sections. I take my time. I do it when I know that I don't have anything else to do but go to sleep. So that if it takes a little longer, it takes a little longer. This is so important because you'd be surprised at how rough you can be with your hair as you're rushing. And enough chit chat. Here's that footage. A good blowout starts way before the blow dryer. It takes a good pre-poo, a good shampoo, and a great comb out. If I tried to blow my hair out now without a comb out, it would come out. Now I like to start with my TGIN leave-in conditioner. It is super lightweight and it gives my hair a lot of slip, plus it smells amazing. And I use a pretty generous amount because I'm going to be doing some serious heat on my hair. So I want that coat. I massage it in until it disappears and soaks into my hair. Working it all the way to the end. Next, I add a generous layer of Chi in for treatment. Now I've used this for years and it gives my hair an extra coat before a blowout. This can handle the heat and it's not all natural, but it works. Now I know I'm about to put some serious heat on my hair. So I want to use firefighter principles here of minimizing contact and over protecting. This product does the trick. And as I massage it into my hair, Ah, it soaks right in. It feels great. Now I'm ready to start sectioning. I have very thick hair, so I must work in sections or this would be a painful disaster. I part my hair down the middle using my hands and I bind half of my hair with a stretchy tie. This is so one side won't dry out before I can get to it. I not wait until my hair is dry before I start detangling. So now I use my fingers to start in the back where my curls are tightest. And the section size is what I'm going to blow dry. Hopefully this will not break my clip. Okay, so now I'm ready for my secret weapon. It is my whipped winterizing cream. This stuff has beeswax in it. That wax will melt in the heat of the blow dry and then lock in moisture as it cools. It'll keep my hair stretched for longer. If you're training your hair to stretch, this is going to make it so much easier. And it looks like it's settled in the jar, but it's light as a feather. I now use my gentle bamboo comb to detangle from ends to roots. And I haven't touched my hair in weeks, sadly. But a little shedding is normal. That's the long hairs you see there. Breakage or short hair pieces should not be happening. And it's a simple twist. It's bigger and looser than a passion twist because this is just going to hold my hair until I can get to that section. And I make sure that I'm working conditioner all the way down to the very ends of my hair as I go. One section done. Let's do my whole head. Let's speed this up with a little old movie magic, shall we? Da da da!
wish I could do that in real life. <laughs> so this comb out is done. I end up with 10 big twists that I tie and I'm going to clip because I'm not going to start my blow drying yet. I want my hair to air dry stretched out a little first and then I will blow dry in a minute. Look, I need some liquid motivation. <laughs> it is early. <sighs> and remember the shedding? This is all the shedding from my entire head. Yay! Now we've discussed a good comb out and we're going to take a little break and let our hair air dry as much as possible. We want our hair to be a little bit dry. A blowout is just a stretching. I don't do it to dry my hair. The drier your hair is going into a blowout, the easier and quicker the blowout is going to be. So, without much more ado, let's see the footage of the next part of this, which is the blowout. My hair is mostly air dried and stretched, so I'll need less time in this blowout. That means less opportunity for damage. And I take my time. I use the consistent handling rules of work in sections, go at a good pace, and be gentle. And I also subscribe to the firefighter principle of overprotect and underexpose. My hair is already detangled because of the comb out, and it has several layers of protection on it already. But I'm not done. I love this sleek it heat spray. You can get it at Walmart and it tells you that it's good for up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Any hotter and it starts to break down. This is important to me because it gives me some idea of how hot is too hot. I give my hair a big spritz in the back because my curls are tighter in the back so there's more surface area to cover. I also have a little heat damage and I'm extra careful to never repeat that. Once I'm coated, I use my Vivitar blow dryer. Now I love this thing because it dries really fast with the attachable concentrator and it has a cool shot. This is a must for me. It uses ionic, ceramic, and tourmaline technology. All of that means fast hair drying with no possible damage. And it's lightweight. These are about $30 on Amazon. The last tool I use is my vented boar bristle brush. This stretches my hair without breaking it. And the natural bristles can take the heat. This also has vents which allows air to pass through and it has a little give so it doesn't pull too hard. This brush does exactly what it's supposed to do and it was about $5 on Amazon. I turn the air on medium and the heat on medium. And I work super slow as I stretch my hair dry. I'm not going for straight here, I'm just going for stretched. As I do this, let's talk a little more about the hair dryer. I mentioned the technology before, so let's explain it. The ceramic coating inside helps evenly distribute heat. It's great for speeding up your drying time and it's less likely to cause any damage. A tourmaline hair dryer uses infrared heat to dry your hair. This is so important because infrared heat is less likely to scorch your hair and cause damage. And the ionic hair dryer leaves my hair baby soft. Wet hair has a positive charge and the negative charge hair dryer dries much faster when the two combine, closing down that cuticle for a smooth finish. Once this section is done, just repeat the process until my whole head is finished. I love old movies and jazz, so let's dance our way through this, shall we? Da da da!
Finally, the last section. This went quick on camera, but let me tell you, it takes a minute to do all of my hair. I can't imagine if it was waist length. Now, once this is completed, I braid my hair up and I let it rest again and cool completely off. The thicker your hair, the more it will hold heat. So I'm just going to allow it to relax. Great. And now I think I'm going to get myself some lunch as I get ready for this next heat process. And that's it. As you can see, a blowout is going to be a great foundation for a good flat ironing. And look, I usually don't go further than a blowout. I can do a lot of really great tricked out protective styles with a blowout. But for the sake of finishing the trilogy, we're going to continue to the flat ironing. That's the next video. And thanks for watching to the end. Thank you again for watching. I would love to hear your success stories in the comments. You can click the red and subscribe to find all the videos in this series. Click here and check out these other cool videos and click the bell to get weekly reminders when I post something new.